This president has fanned the flames of white supremacy in this nation. When Trump announced he was running for president, he called Mexicans rapist. Days before the midterm, he fomented fears of a caravan heading to the United States, creating hysteria, hysteria when he said, look, look what's marching up. This is an invasion, an invasion. He asserted that immigrants would, quote, carve you up with a knife. More recently, he called American, a major American center, city, a disgusting rat infected rodent mess. I don't blame Elizabeth Warren and I don't blame Bernie Sanders in the case of Ohio. And I don't blame anybody. I, I blame these are sick people. These are people that are really mentally ill, mentally disturbed. It's a mental problem. The Dayton situation, he was a fan of Antifa. He was a fan of Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. Nothing to do with Trump. No human being, he said, would choose to live as though the vibrant, diverse community around Baltimore somehow was less than human. At a rally in Florida, when he asked the crowd, how do we stop these people, meaning immigrants? Someone yelled back, shoot them. And he smiled. In North Carolina, he basked in the chance of send her back, echoing across the stadium. How far is it from Trump saying this is an invasion to the shooter in El Paso declaring, quote, this attack is a response to Hispanic invasion of Texas. So we want to take a second to pass on a sincere message to official Washington and particularly to our colleagues on the other cable news channels. And it's this, please, for the sake of the nation, calm down. Yes, America has problems. Yes, racism is one of America's problems. But so is a fading middle class. So is a terrifying drug epidemic that's killed hundreds of thousands of Americans. So is a national debt that is growing by a trillion dollars a year. These are huge problems. But this country is not on the brink of genocide. It's not even close to that. This is not a white supremacist country plotting the slaughter of its own people. It's a kind country full of decent people of all races. How far apart are those comments? How far is it from white supremacists and neo-Nazis in Charlottesville, Trump's very fine people chanting, you will replace us, to the shooter at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh saying, we're committing genocide. Jews are committing genocide on his people. I don't think it's that far at all. It's both clear language and in code. This president has fanned the flames of white supremacy in this nation.